Ben Woodruff here with another quick falconry video today. This one is a follow-up to testing out the Mavic Pro drone platform for training large falcons. I have been a, a personal user of the Phantom drone series for years and I've found them to work really well for training falcons. We use this to train falcons to go higher. Most falcon flyers of a large falcon traditionally want their bird to wait on, which is training them to circle above you, you flush up prey, and they dive down. And drones have provided a quick, simple, easy way to do that. Used to be, and even still today, many people do still use kites and uh, balloons, helium balloons, to accomplish the same thing. But if it's too windy, you can't use a balloon. And if it's not windy enough, you can't use a kite. So a drone can uh, battle that well. So again, as a big fan of the Phantom Drone series as a good, solid platform to anchor uh, the hardware required to train a Falcon to fly up to a drone, I was skeptical. I got the Mavic Pro drone as a smaller, faster, uh, newer, more concise drone with a better camera for the purpose of filming. And you can see I do a lot of drone footage in, uh, in, in a lot of these videos. But I didn't know if it would be up to the task. We've done some tests already. You've probably seen in my previous drone video uh, testing out, and it seems to be able to handle the load, the weight of the lure and the parachute. But today we gave it a real try with uh, some new falcons, some first year uh, peregrine falcons that we were training. And we also uh, reintroduced a prairie falcon. Now this is a prairie falcon that was used to the phantom drones, which are bigger, they're a different color, they have a different sound, you know, different weight, different motors, different props. It's gonna create a different sound. And so that was our first bird we tried. She did well. She was at first kind of confused, like I understand drones, but what is this? But she did go after it. Um, where we did have the drone uh, not very high up, but she grabbed the lure, pulled it, parachute came out she went to the ground with it and did just fine so it seems like even with a bird trained to another drone the Mavic drone does work well one thing I have to mention if you are first a lot of us drone pilots when you have your drone and you have your line going down to your parachute and the line going down to the lure when you first launch that and you have it in a position before you let the bird take off that much weight the calibrations of the Mavic drone seem to think that the drone needs to land and it'll try to land. I never had that problem with the Phantom series. So that's something to watch for if you're thinking about getting a drone for training a Falcon. If you're 50 feet or less and you have that weight on the Mavic drone, it'll say self landing and try to land itself. Uh, all you got to do is just push through and, make, and get it to go up a little higher and it'll reset. Other than that, one of the things that seemed to work really well, a friend suggested this. If you saw in my earlier one, I was looking for different mounting options to tie onto the drone. And one of my friends mentioned that he just uses a hair tie. And so that's what I tied on, one hair tie. You could do two to play it safe, but one hair tie around the middle of the drone worked perfect and this system is uh, continuing to go well. So in the upcoming weeks, I'll have uh, some higher flying videos to show you, but this was a good introduction to these Falcons and they did well. So highly recommend the Mavic Pro as a drone to fly for training Falcons. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, happy hawking.